Commander Cody. Execute Order 66. The Galactic Republic's clone troopers are an iconic and vital part of the Star Wars franchise's prequel era, with the clone army featuring a wide variety of specialized clone variants. Created from the genetic model of the Mandalorian bounty hunter Jango Fett, clone troopers are both a small and elite fighting force to assist the Jedi in their war with the Separatists and Palpatine's secret weapon to ensure his totalitarian coup and the Sith Order's revenge. We're looking at different specialized roles clone troopers have within the Grand Army of the Republic. Standard Clone Troopers Typically clad in white plastoid armor, standard clone troopers of the Republic's Grand Army are the most commonly seen and remembered clones. They possess free will, a genuine devotion to defending the Galactic Republic's democracy, and close friendships with their Jedi leaders in most cases. Tragically, the clones were victims of dormant brainwashing, compelling them to kill their Jedi allies upon the activation of Order 66. Clone Officers The Jedi Knights served as generals and commanders within the clone army, leaving clone troopers to serve as lower-ranking officers. These included clone sergeants, lieutenants, captains, and commanders, with each clone rank initially sporting a unique armor marking for identification. This practice quickly fell out of favor, with clone officers often going into battle with no identifying markings perhaps keeping their rank only visible to other clones via their helmet's heads-up displays. Clone Commandos Clone Commandos wear unique armor equipped with personal shield generators and hidden vibra blades, in addition to blasters that can be configured to fill a variety of roles. While Jango Fett trained the ARC troopers, his elite Mandalorian trainers, known as the Kuival Dar, trained the Commandos. In modern canon, Commandos are still considered the most elite clones, retaining their unique armor but with missing shield generators. Many clone Commandos remained loyal to the Empire after Palpatine's coup, though one notable exception is Gregor, who went on to fight the Empire alongside clones like Captain Rex and Commander Wolf. The Shadows, or Clone X Troopers, were highly brainwashed and fanatical clones who served the Empire's advanced science division, carrying out covert missions and even killing their own brothers without hesitation. The Shadows served as ruthless adversaries to Rex's rebel cell of clones and the Bad Batch, ultimately perishing by the series finale. You can stand with us as your brother. I'm asking you. These specialized roles highlight the versatility and elite status of the Republic's clone troopers, each variant contributing uniquely to the war effort against the Separatists, and later, the rise of the Empire. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Blurred Wire. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below, and thank you again for joining us. We'll see you next time.